Hey everyone, welcome back. So we are now going to fight Yawn upstairs, the second floor of the mansion. I want to take care of that and then uh, have the last armor key door that we open be the one that leads to a forest. So that way we don't have to deal with him anymore. I think we have everything we need. Like I plan to just run around him and try to get the um try to get the mask before he uh wakes before he grabs Chris and poisons him. I was gonna say before he wakes up, but that's the crimson elder head. I mean the elder crimson head, whatever he's called. For that guy we gotta use the grenade. Which we've been storing all this time, not using it, so... Let's go check out that door. It is possible to run around them and not get poisoned. We just have to be very quick about it. So, how are you all doing today? Oh boy, it is a mess. Um, I've been dealing with this mess with BetMGM that um, they upgraded their servers on Tuesday or Wednesday, I believe. One of those two. I think it was Tuesday. And it was supposed to be a minor upgrade for some feature that they didn't really need, but they added it anyway. And what it did was it basically wiped out everyone's... Um, it wiped out everyone's account. Or at least half of the people's accounts, so... All your previous bets that you had recorded, they're gone. All the information, gone. Damn, that guy almost got me. There are blood stains on the wall. These look fresh. Those are probably Richard's, I assume. Because there's no one else inside. But yeah, they just created a mess. And on top of that, they tried to claim that I owed them $335 for a resettled bet. Like, what the hell? I didn't even bet any anything with them this week. It was just a whole freaking mess that they created. Also, that people couldn't abuse the uh, free offer for, for different states. You know, they didn't want people taking advantage of the offers that they, they do for signing up in different states. So they combined all the states into one site. It used to, be, used to be BetMGM, PA, Massachusetts, New York, whatever. They combined it all and they just caused one huge gigantic mess. And it's still not solved, so. Boy, has that been fun to deal with. Uh, it's also hot as hell over here, which means you can't turn off the air conditioner for like more than an hour or your room and your whole house kind of heats up and turns into like the ninth level of hell, so. Isn't that fun too? Alright, so they went cheap on us. There's usually a pack of um, shotgun shells here, but there's nothing, so they went cheap. So let's just get the mask and get the hell out of here. I think we gotta lure him around that uh, post in the middle. Oh yeah, there he is. Get the mask, Chris. And run. Hey, we did it! Hell yeah! We didn't even get bit. Not bad. Let's get around this jackass. Is he gone? Huh. He's gone. I guess they don't want you to deal with him if um, you're poisoned out there because then you might die like in one hit. So let's just hope he's not out here. No, he's gone. He's completely gone, so I guess, I guess, yeah, they just, um, didn't want you to deal with him in case you came out, uh, bitten and poisoned. Oh, because Rebecca would have to come rescue you, I think, in one scenario, so. Yeah, it doesn't make sense that she wouldn't get past him. Okay, so we can go that way. We already got the mask from over there. I'm trying to see if it's worth it to go this way or... 
Because we have all four of them, but we still gotta open this door here. You know, let's go put it in. Let's go put the mask in the chest because we gotta get rid of the green herb. Because that's taking up space. We don't need it right now. But I know there's herbs outside and there's also, um, there's also something else we can pick up. Ammo or something, but I want to have the space to pick it up so that we don't have to go back there again, so. Let's just dump all this in the box. And then we'll go open up that last armor door. That should be it. I don't think there's anything else we need to open with that. And hopefully if Forrest is out there, we won't see him again. So yeah, let's go dump this in the box. She's still there. Are you okay? Want me to treat your wounds? No, we got through it fine. What do you prefer, Rebecca or the new Ashley from the RE4 remake? I think they're kind of close. I didn't... I really didn't like Ashley before, but I didn't hate her like some fans. I just found her a bit annoying. But, um... She's actually quite improved in the, um latest version of the game all right so we got all four mask we gotta put those downstairs but I want to get what's up there first because once we take those masks we gotta take all four of them down there so that's gonna take up a huge amount of our inventory so I probably don't even want to carry the shotgun outside to fight them because we're not gonna need it we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna pop the grenade in his mouth and just blow him apart unless that fat guy is still out there the one that was guarding the shotgun bullets so I started watching two movies um two giallo movies those are the Italian kind of like not horror but like psychological thrillers or like murder mysteries um I've been watching some of the earlier ones um ah there we go no further use for the key so the first one was a uh, bird with the crystal plumage um it's okay so far it's kind of rough you can see that Argento was really um he was um just starting out so he hasn't really developed his style yet so it's kind of rough not gonna lie it's a bit rough to get to yeah he's gonna get up he is gonna get up and get us okay so we have that no. also I wonder what happened with the um one dangerous zombie because I selected once again but he's not he's not there I mean obviously he is he's sitting right there but um he doesn't have the bombs strapped to his chest I wonder what the hell happened to him oh shit we should not have done that god damn is there really nothing yeah let's just dodge him get the hell out of here he moves fast for a zombie. Damn, so the only thing that was out here was, um... Just a dagger? That's what we came all the way out here for? Come on. Fuck you, Forrest. Yeah, I wonder why one dangerous zombie didn't trigger. I should've known, because usually he comes in through the side door. Usually he comes to right or... This door right here. Or the door where the uh, dogs are on the balcony. So I should have known once he um, once he didn't show up there. I should have known it wasn't gonna pop in. Which I don't mind because I obviously I don't want to deal with him. But I wonder what 
I wonder what made it not trigger, because I already beat the game twice. You saw it one with Jill and one with Chris, so I would have assumed that it would actually show up. But apparently not. I don't really know why. Okay, so we have everything we need. Um, we just gotta get the, the four masks and take those downstairs. Oh, that zombie is still there. I thought he'd disappear or something. Or maybe I killed him and forgot about it. Okay, so we can leave the shotgun shells for uh, afterwards. Because... You know what, let's save first. Let's save. Just in case this doesn't go smoothly. No, Rebecca. I... Yeah, see, I cleared it. So I don't know why... I don't know why he's not there. I picked once again, so... No idea why he is not there. And I beat it with both Joe and Chris on hard mode, so why isn't he there? Like I said, not that I'm complaining, I just find it odd. Because he usually does show up. Alright, so we saved in case this goes awry. Where's the other mask? Alright, we got the four death mask. We're just gonna pop him one. Yeah, we're just gonna put the grenade right in his mouth and just blow him up, blow him apart. Let's see. Here it is. I don't know if um, you have to unequip the handgun or not. I wouldn't think so. We'll see, we'll try it. If if he just slashes us and and uh, we can't use the grenade, I'll just reload. Hopefully that zombie's gone by now. The one guarding the shotgun bullets. Oh yeah, he's gone. So that means we can pick those up after we drop off these. So this one's the eyes, so that would be this one. So that's all of them. So that would be this one right here. I find it funny how different they look from the actual texture of the background. Like the actual texture looks like rock and this just looks like almost like a plastic mask. This one's the nose, I think. Yep. And what are those red things on the back? I'm guessing those are the switches to trigger the coffin falling down. And finally this one. comes to see if he grabs us. Come on. Come on, fool. 
God damn it. Come on. Here we go. Got him. Damn, not even a scratch. Well, that's that. Like, why did they even lock him up there? Like, wouldn't they... Like I said, wouldn't it have been better to just put him in like a tube or something down in the lab? Got some handgun ammo. And we got the stone and metal object. So that's part of a... I don't know if it's a metal or a crest that we complete later on, but we can't use it yet on his own. I thought maybe that would have taken him to caution, but no, he's still fine, so... There you go. That's the easy way to deal with him. Let's get this. We've been wanting to get it all game. Alright, we got some ammo. So we are officially done with this section of the mansion. Now we can just move on. We should go right here, but... I think I might need I might need to visit the save room again because I don't know if there's an actual Oh yeah, we got to put this back. So never mind. We can go through there to take a shortcut so that we don't have to, so that we don't have to go all around where the zombies are. So we can take that shortcut. That'll lead us to where I think the dogs are in the hallway there. That leads to the courtyard outside. But we gotta drop off this object first because we can't use it yet. And also combine the uh, the two shotgun shells that we have. So we got the we got the um, object here. We can just store this for now. Where's the rest of my ammo? Let's see. Here's the handgun ammo. I'm guessing I don't have any other shotgun shells left. That sucks. Let's combine this. I'm trying to see what I'm gonna need for the part outside. if there's a fuel canteen outside I mean to refuel the canteen or not if there's a fuel tank outside all right since we're gonna run from the dogs I think I just gonna put away the shotgun ammo for now we don't really need that until we get to the guardhouse so three shells should be fine Wait a second, do we need the object to actually... Do we need it to actually uh, open the door? Yeah, I think we might, so... You know, let's take it, let's take the canteen anyway, just in case. I know we have to use one shell on the zombie that's uh, by the door before we can get in there. I'm not even going to bother trying to kill the other one that snuck in. 
because he's going to disappear by the time we make it back, so... That guy will also disappear. He'll be replaced by a hunter later on. So you don't have to worry about him. You don't have to gun him down. You don't have to do anything. Just leave him there because he's going to disappear on his own. And the crest, we need to get the magnum. Oh yeah, we do need the crest to get the magnum. We might have to improvise a bit. Yeah, I should have taken the crest. Hopefully we can just get it coming back. I don't think there's an item box directly outside. I think you have to go past the shed all the way up to Lisa's house to find another item box, so... Let's take care of this guy quickly. He's gonna charge us. There he is. You can safely ignore the other one. Hopefully there's not dogs in here. That would suck. Maybe we can run past them. Oh yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Thought you got me, didn't you? Yeah, those guys will try to take a bite out of you. Okay, so we got... We got ammo. So we might as well take it now. And we might as well take the... um. first aid spray because we can deposit that in the box over there and then when we come back we'll have to get the magnum with the sh with the crest I believe this is uh, west. One respond. Wesker? Once chains. Tree. Not says. Wave. Woods outside. He sounds so unconcerned. It's like, oh, there's a monster in chain. You can't really hurt it. Well, let's just retreat. I believe this is north. There we go. Easy. Easy to memorize. This was a nice little section that they added here. This is one of my favorite sections that they added in the remake. It's very atmospheric. And I'm sure this must have, this must have looked incredible when people first saw it on the GameCube. Very, very well done. They won't attack you unless you try to get the Magnum, so we can just ignore them from now. There's going to be a couple zombies coming back. But they shouldn't be too much of an issue.
boy, whenever when I first played this section, I actually ran back here after getting to the cabin because I thought she could follow me back, possibly. This really looks like a Jason Voorhees cab cabin or shack. This shack in part two. Just this isolated shack in the middle of nowhere. My question about all this is how could they not know she was living here? Like they were supposed to have killed her. Poisoned her over three days. To dispose of her. To dispose of her but then she started attacking the researchers and she was wandering all around on the ground, so how could they not know she was in here? Like, were they just ignoring it, or had everybody pretty much been infected by that point, so like, nobody gave a crap about it? They just let it be. Because it's not like she's easy to miss, she's right here, so how did they not know she was still alive and living in this cabin? And it says the fire, this firewood looks fresh, so she's been, she's been doing that herself. Get the map, map of the courtyard. Let's put this away before we forget to get the The uh, wind crest. Let's combine this. I think that's all we need. I don't think we need ammo. Um, I don't think we need ammo coming back because we're mainly just going to be running away, f running away from the dogs. We're not going to fight them. family picture yeah I'm not gonna even try to read this one that's just Lisa's uh, diary we probably should take an herb just in case just in case she wallops us and we take some damage This is a square crank with which we need to drain the water across the courtyard. I wonder if I should save or not. Yeah, might as well. We can get some more in the in the guardhouse. Yeah, so if you go there, you can see her stumbling around there. I'm sure this must have scared people when they first played this originally because they didn't expect an enemy to be here. This whole section was new, so they had no idea what was probably lurking here. Lisa is definitely the most disturbing of the enemies they have in the game, by far. She's almost something like like something at a Silent Hill, except infected by Umbrella's virus. The amazing thing is I was reading that it was added near the end of the game, so... <laughs> Got 
God damn. Let's see if she makes it over here. Oh, here she comes. Yeah, this was added ne near the very end of the game when they were develop they were finishing development on it, so. I wonder if they had it planned all along or if it was something they decided like at the last minute to add. Or maybe like in the last few months. Because they always had this story for George Trevor, the architect. We already knew that. But I wonder if um I wonder if they had Lisa planned all along or if they always Damn, we're going in circles. I wonder if they had her planned or if it was something they decided to like spur the moment. Let's go around him. <laughs> Alright, let's do a wind press puzzle so we can get that magnum. So we gotta get those two crests and put them over there. God damn, get off me, crow. So you have to examine the back, pop out the little buttons there, then put them in the right order on the left. It's nice how they still incorporated the crest, even though they're not the same puzzle they were from before, but they still made use of them to get the magnum. And of course, if you don't bother doing it, then you miss out on a pretty powerful weapon that's handy. That's very handy near the end of the game, so... So let's put in this one. And finally, the Star Crest. I wonder how much of this was also puzzles that they didn't, they couldn't use in the original game, but they always had them in mind. But there were limitations as to what they could do, so they just uh, did it differently originally. Like the Crimson Heads, what was that always something that they had in mind, or? Is that something they came up with completely new for the remake? Because I know the, the liquors in RE2 were always meant to be like the next stage of the zombies. Or a particular mutation, so I'm wondering just how far back they had the concept for the actual Crimson Heads in their minds. If it wasn't something that was completely brand new. Okay, so we got that. For some reason I was thinking there was a fuel tank there, but apparently it's not. I know there's one back at the guardhouse. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha team. Bravo team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad! This is Chris! Brad? Damn. This thing's broken. Freaking dumbass, he was the one that left them behind. And I don't really know why, because it's not like the, um... It's not like dogs could, even, could get him in the helicopter. Like, he could have just taken off, landed somewhere nearby. And then let them climb back in. He didn't have to completely go away. He just turned tail and ran. Even though he was in no danger whatsoever. Because I, 
think the reason the Bravo team helicopter crash was because of sabotage, right? I think um, Wesker sabotaged it. I don't think it was actually that the dogs uh, broke in and killed the pilot. I think it was actual sabotage by Wesker, so Brad wasn't in any danger at all. He just chose to leave like a coward. What did you think? What did you think of Brad in the RE3 remake? Did you like him there, or did you prefer him in the original? Like, I think the voice acting was better, obviously, but I kind of preferred him in the ori in the original as far as his death. So there's no snakes here, but when you come back, there's definitely poisonous snakes. So you might want to carry a blue herb just in case you get poisoned, you know, and you can't make it to the save room in on time. God damn, we're going the wrong way. There's usually herbs there, right near the gate, on normal difficulty. I noticed they're not here, so you're getting a lot less health, def definitely. Yeah, I kind of preferred Brad's original death at the hands of Nemesis compared to the um, compared to what they did in RE three. Because you know, spoilers, he ends up killing a very good character. That that's the reason why he got killed, and I'm sure certain pe people were probably pissed at that. I know I was when I found out it was him. It was you all along, Brad Vickers. You you were the guy who screwed us over. So I've noticed uh, a couple people uh, doing playthroughs of this, including someone I watched, but they tend to forget that there's two holes. There's one to the left, there's one right here, you can see where he's pointed at, and then there's one right next to it, so you don't have to cover both of them. Because if you, this is a trick on the original, because in the original there was only one right in the middle of the hallway, so you had to cover it with the box. If you cover this one here, if you cover the middle, the the tentacle will still get you around it. It'll still hit you from the right side. So you have to cover this one and go over it. That's the little trick. You just go over it and climb over the box and it can't get you. Okay, so we don't have the key. Yeah, and I noticed some people uh, tend to forget that there's two holes there and they're wondering why they're getting hit with the by the plant over and over again. Well, it's because uh, there's actually two. You gotta cover the one on the, the one on the right, and then just go over the bigger box. You don't actually have to cover both of them. See, here's the um, fuel canteen. You can refill that. I'm gonna put this away for now. We don't really need it. Put the magnum away, definitely, and the crank, we don't need that. We might need the ammo. I think we might pull that out. Let's see. Although I don't remember if we're here enough for the for the zombies to matter. Cause I think it's like 20 minutes of playtime or something like that before they turn. So if we just kill them right away, it shouldn't really matter. We shouldn't need to burn them. Yeah, I just remember. I just remember we're getting three items. I think from the uh, from the pool room where the spiders are. So let's go get those first. Let's go get that from the spooders. I hate how the spiders look because it's so creepy, but I actually like them in the game. A lot of people don't. They find them annoying. And this is the puzzle you would do for the, um... For the, um... The door that leads to the V-Jolt room. But we don't really need it because I got the code, so... 
I wasn't gonna deal with that, so I just went ahead and looked up the code. So we can forget about that. Let's go get over here. Look at that ass. That pixelated ass on the on the door. Yeah, so the code is 536. And there's only three different combinations, I think, or or is it nine combinations? I forget, but yeah, it's red, red, green, and orange. And there's Yeah, I think there's nine combinations, right? But since we already know it's 536, we don't really need to bother with it. Let's grab the bread book. Grab the uh, first aid spray. I think it has a yeah, I think it has a first aid spray in it. We don't really need to um, light this up, but we might as well. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Move away, Scooter. That sounds a lot more like a hiss than in the original. In the original, it just kind of sprayed you. Here, they sound angry. So let's put all this away. We didn't really need it after all. We'll probably need an herb when we hit the sharks. But we don't really need that yet. And I think you actually get some health before that. So... We can safely put this away. Let's open it up, see what's inside. I think it's a first aid spray. Chris, open the box. Oh, it's an herb. Green and blue herb, so we can save that for later. It's only really, what, like three places to use the... the blue herbs. So... We can just store those. See what's inside the red book. Oh, it's blank. Yeah, that's the portrait of the naked lady lying on the beach. Do we need that yet or not? I don't remember. You know what? Let's take it with us. Just in case. Yeah, we know the code is 536 for the door, so we can just try out the combinations until they work. We don't need, really need to bother with it. See, you just go right up top, they can't reach you. But if you put it in the middle, it's going to be constantly whacking you. And it doesn't really do any damage, but it's still annoying. Oh yeah, we need to get the insecticide to kill the bees first. That's the only way you can get the key. Another thing they added new to this one, the... The insecticide to actually kill the bees before you just had to run away from them. I think you could try to kill them, but you're not really it's not really worth it. This right here, you should not grab this until you kill the bees because you might be tempted to press the press the button again and look inside. And what ends up happening is that um you just end up triggering the bees. They'll actually come out of the hole and um start chasing you. So you don't want it. You don't want to do that until you have the insecticide. God damn it. God damn! Aw, oh, shit. God damn, that almost killed him. Aw, oh, we could've used that on the hunter. I forgot that guy would drop down as soon as you went into the bathroom. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. We wasted two items on that fool. Let's just unequip that. No, not, not the gun, the grenade. They're not that useful anyway against the hunters, so um, 
Shouldn't be too much of a problem, but still, I would have I would have liked to have kept the other grenade just in case. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-Virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. Affect. It's called effect. They use the wrong letter. It's supposed to be an E instead of an A. The T-Virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its curse state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. We also found that Plant 42 is two main sources, two main source of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself deep in, somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, the scientists went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that one of the chemicals in the water is promoting Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body on, of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrient. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of us scientists have already fallen victim to the Plant 42. When we heard this, the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves this way, why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. I'm still wondering how it made it smart. Like, what the hell happened to that plan to make it ultra intelligent? Like, it can't have been just a regular plant to begin with. How did it turn into that? They never explained that. I also kind of hated that they kind of removed the original giant plant from the RE2 remake and they replaced it with like that huge garden area, or, like the greenhouse. I didn't really like the new ivies. I thought that would have been fine if they were just permanently looking like Venus fly, fly traps. That would have been great. But just having them be zombies is kind of bootleg. That, that's kind of ghetto. They were just green carnivorous zombies. I mean, zombies are already carnivorous, but you know what I mean. They were extra carnivorous. But like, they look really cool when they open their mouths and it's all like a Venus fly trap. But on their own, they just kind of look... Ugh. They just look like a green husk of a zombie. We might as, well, might as well use one of these. Yeah, I think that's two herbs, right? Yeah, that's two green herbs. We can use this one. We're not going to need that one. I think I should use this, this shotgun because... Um, we're going to be replacing it with Richard's shotgun soon, so... We might as well get use out of this one. We should have killed a zombie. In the bathroom, we should have killed him with the shotgun instead of using up the defensive items. So this guy's swinging, he's killed himself. In a futile attempt to stop with what what's happening to him. So this gun is very important. This gun only has one shot. But it's a powerful one. So you want to save that gun for the tyrant at the very end. Suicide note. June 22, 1998. I had to do it. Revenge for those things. Helping each other to survive. But Robert starting to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those things are Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I just had to leave him in, in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nuthouse. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. 
All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn to one of them. Please understand and at least let me end up my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. It's kind of sad that uh, the stars member don't save any of those files to actually get them back to their families. Or actually have evidence of what they're saying. Like Chris himself said, it all goes up in the... It all goes up in the mansion explosion. Which was kind of stupid on their part. I wouldn't have been stuffing those files into anything I could. You know? I would not have... Uh, I would not have uh, just left them there to be destroyed in the explosion. I would have taken them with me. Because you need to collect the evidence, right? And it's not, it's not like you're going to be able to come back, so... Oopsie, that was a big mistake on their part, you know, not saving all those documents that would have proven beyond doubt everything that they were saying. Like, come on, you have the room. You could just stop them in your pockets or something. You had room for all that crap. Or just save the important ones. Like, you don't need the plant, the plant 42 report or any of that, of that stuff. You just need the incriminating documents. Okay, so we can put that back. I'm gonna put the butt back because we don't really need it for now. We do need this key. We need that key. I also remember we have to get the pesticide from inside the room with the bees. It um We have to get it from there first and then just run like hell and circle around back to where the map is and pump it right into that hole. So let's go get the pesticide. Yeah, they they had tons and tons of incriminating documents of umbrella and they just let them all burn up like Come on, what kind of cops are you? What kind of investigative team are you? You're telling me Chris didn't have space in that damn giant vest of his to actually, um... You know, to, um... To save at least some of those documents. Crap, I just remembered, uh... We actually better save because, um... I think we have to get the key from downstairs and uh, the shark is down there and he can actually kill you in one shot if you if you don't escape so I think I better save just in case just in case um, we get bitten and eaten there we can start over how many um Saves do we have? Oh, we have three. Okay, so that'll, that'll do. Because Plant 42 itself is not that tough once we um, use the V-Jolt on it, so... You can just go in there and... And um, try to fight it yourself, but that's a huge waste of ammo. Alright, so let's go get that, um, let's go get that key and Richard's shotgun after he bites the dust. Because Richard is getting snacked on. But you can't actually get the shotgun until you drain the water, so.
So I had no idea this music was actually from the original Resident Evil because I hadn't played it in so long. I'd only played the uh, director's cut version most of the time, so I had no idea that this music actually came from that. Like I genuinely thought this was this music was all new for the um, remake. I had no idea they were actually themes from the original that were remixed because I I was so accustomed to hearing the director's cut the DualShock soundtrack. The crappy soundtrack that some of the music sounds like almost operatic and it just doesn't fit the game at all but I was so used to hearing that soundtrack I had no idea this was the original soundtrack and it's just remixed here and I didn't really realize it until I was watching Bash's playthrough for the original RE from PS1 and I heard this theme and I'm like going what the hell is that doing that in RE1 well that was the original theme for this area it's just that I never heard it before or I only heard it once when I played the PS1 game after a, a long time I bought the original Resident Evil on PS1 but I guess I just completely forgot all that music and everything about that game remember pushing this in the original and if you messed it up you had to reset it Yeah, let's grab that herb. We might need it. Cuz we're going to we're going to get rid of the key anyway, so Time for Richard to meet his maker or become breakfast either way. Either one. Richard. How did he Chris. make it all the way down here? Everything was locked. Chris, stop! No! Damn, Richard. Richard! He was just fated to die, wasn't he? It was just his destiny. Let's get the hell away from that shot. <laughs> God damn, leave me alone, shark. Yeah, that means the big one's coming. I can kind of understand them wanting to experiment on different animals, but what kind of possible weapon would a shark serve? Like, would they be able to attack the boats, or what the hell would they do? Because it's, it's a shark. Like, what... What kind of damage can it actually do to a freaking battleship or something? I guess they could just pick off individual divers and stuff, but what other purpose could it possibly serve? Open valve one. Got it. Let's get the aqua ring map. I don't even know why there is a map here because there's a really small area, but there it is. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Right, I said valve one, right? Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Where's the safety valve? Reaching 50% oh, of shit. pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Alright, let's restore the ore pressure before we implode here. Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. I wonder what happens if we die here. God damn. 
reaching 90% of pressure threshold. No, what are you doing, fool? Reaching 95% of pressure threshold. I wonder if it resets. Prepare for impact. Oh, we're gonna die here. Fool. Let's see what happens if he Reaching breaks through. Reaching maximum pressure threshold. Oh, goddamn. I've never seen this before. Oh, so he doesn't even eat you. He just crashes through the, through the um. He just crashes through the window. I thought he was gonna eat him. Oh, that sucks. I expected something more. I've never seen that cutscene again. I mean, I've never seen that cutscene ever. Uh, we gotta go all the way back to the aqua ring now. Uh, we gotta put back the ink ribbons too. After I get the key from downstairs, I'm gonna come back and save. That'll be it for the night because it's getting kind of hot here. And I can't have the fan pointed directly at, at me or uh, it, it'll be, get picked up by the microphone. Even with the noise blocking and stuff, it's still kind of loud. So I think that might be it. Uh, let me just get the key. Hopefully we don't screw it up again. Technically speaking, couldn't he just swim across that? It's only six feet, right? I guess maybe the shark might get him, but I don't know, could the sharks even really swim up that part? It just seems like this is just a whole bunch of nonsense just to get you to move the boxes. Like you could easily jump half of that, right? Looks like it's only like what like six feet across, so could he really does he really need to push all these boxes to get over there? Or why... Technically you could just push like one and just jump across. You don't even need all of them. people speeding outside I hate that people treat the driveway behind the houses like it's an actual racetrack especially on weekends after midnight it sucks all right we saw this already so just get the hell out of here god damn move faster Chris god damn it are we really gonna do this
This area was a big improvement on the original aqua ring though, minus the oil pressure stuff. That part's kind of annoying, but the actual area is pretty well designed because originally it was just like one circular room with like a tank in the middle and that was it. Like not much to see there at all, so this was a big improvement. Open valve number one, got it. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Open valve number one. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Finally. So there's usually some magnum ab over here. Ah, there it is. A lot of people miss it because it's so small. Unless you're really looking and you're seeing that it's shining on the floor, you might miss it too. I think I did the first time. I didn't get it as Joe, I only got it as Chris the second time. I was wondering why I had so few magnum ammo. So there's the shotgun, which we can now get. So we just use up the other three shells, probably against plant 42, and then we're just done. Um... Then we'll just put it in storage and use uh, the assault shotgun. So he can actually kill you if you step down from there without throwing the damn thing in. He actually can kill you. I've tried it before. Barbecue shot. There it is. Can't forget the key. And these guys, we can safely ignore them. There's one here and there's one up top.
So the game doesn't doesn't look as good once you blow it up to a uh, the typical 4K screen, you know. But it still looks pretty good for its day. I don't remember if you can change the format or not. I think you can actually change it so that it's not all blown up, you know. So if you turn off the widescreen and then you uh, switch it to the regular mode, I think it looks a lot better there. But it's still an overall pretty good looking game. Yeah, let's just get the insecticide and kill these things so we can come back next time and finish off the plant. That way we don't have to deal with them. See if I can unlock the door. We're not going to touch that yet because we need the insecticide first. So let's see. Five. Three, six. Five, six, three. Let's try, let's try three, five, six. Huh. Wonder what's going on. Whatever it is, we'll solve it later. Give me that tank. Yeah, you don't want to examine the hole because if, if, if you do, they'll um, actually come outside and they can start stinging you. Alright, now we can pick up the ammo. Yeah, I wonder what's up with the um, door. Oh damn, there's the other key that we needed. Well, let's use up this herb. And that is the... I think it's for the room right next to it, right? Number three. That looks nasty. Yeah, it's right here, so we can unlock that. So that's where we got to put the red book. Let's just drain that even though I think there's nothing in there. Nope, it's empty. I think we might actually have to go down back to the aqua ring and examine the roots so that he can see that it's there. You know what, let's go do that now. Let's go examine it now. That we will come back up and save. We 
should have done it when, when we came back up from the basement, but we can do it now. Oh yeah, we, we gotta go around, oh, that sucks. Yeah, I think you can change the aspect ratio and the original aspect ratio makes it look a lot better. I think when you when you blow it up to full screen, you know, to cover the entire screen on like a 4K TV, that's when it kind of starts to look bad. Like it's not really noticeable on the screen I'm recording, but um, you can see it on the TV. It, the textures look kind of suspicious, kind of questionable. But that's because of the aspect ratio. Yep, there it is. It'll be messed up if they could just kill you right there. What else is up here? Is that the only thing? Let's see what's around. Yeah, I think it is. There's a shark right over there, so now that that's done, let's just go back. Yeah, I don't recall why the door is not lighting up. Um, I don't think you have to light up the three different lamps. I don't think that has anything to do with the door as far as getting it to work. I think you might have to put the book in and open up the shelf first, but not go into that door. So we will figure that out next time. Or I'll just look it up on Google. This game is a lot longer than I remembered. Like I was expecting it to be like five hours or so, but no, it's actually quite a bit. It's quite a lengthy game. Not as long as like RE Village, cause that that's insane. But or Code Veronica, that's a really long game. But uh, this one's actually pretty long, so I think it might take like three or more recording sessions to get through it. Um, we're gonna save here. Let's combine that. We are actually going to try to figure out what's going on with that door and um, 
hopefully make the V jolt with Rebecca so we can actually kill that damn plant. So we will do that next time. So we're about halfway done through the game. Um, the most difficult part is still ahead with the hunters and when you have to fight Yon the second time. I think you can actually shoot, you can actually use that gun on Yon, the um the single bullet magnum. I think it kills him in one hit or like three hits. So I'll have to look up to see what the best use of that is, where I should save it for the tyrant or where I should use it on him uh, to see which one is uh, more effective. So we will do that next time, so thank you for watching, I will see you again next time on Resident Evil 1 Remake, uh, HD edition on the PS4. See you later.